Welcome to the deep dive. We sift through information, try to pull out the key insights for you. That's the goal. And today, uh, we're looking at how you can take your AI chats, specifically with ChatGPT, and, well, make sense of them long term. Exactly. We're talking about turning that history into a kind of personal knowledge map. Right, using this tool called Chat Insights to build it all inside Obsidian. It sounds cool basically turning chats into like a connected web of your own ideas. It really is. It helps you see the connections, you know, between all the different topics you've explored with the AI over time. It's a neat way to revisit that journey. Okay, sounds useful. So let's unpack this. If you want to follow along and try this out, there are a couple of things you need first, right? Yeah, three main things. Okay, what are they? Well, first up, you need Python installed on your computer. Chat Insights is built using Python, so um, that's essential for it to run and process your data. Gotcha. Python. And number two? Number two is Obsidian. That's the note-taking app where your knowledge graph will actually live. It's really good at like linking notes and ideas together. Right. Obsidian. I've heard good things about that one. And the last piece? Your ChatGPT conversation history. You need to export it. Ah, okay. How do you do that? It's pretty straightforward. You go to the ChatGPT website, chat.openeye.com, log in, head to your settings, uh -huh. then find data controls, and there should be an export data option. Click that, they'll email you a link to download a zip file. Inside that zip, you're looking for a file called conversations.json. JSON. That's just the data format, right? Exactly. It's just how the conversations are stored. So Python, Obsidian, and that conversations.json file. Okay. Prerequisites checked. And once you have those three ready, you're all set to actually use Chat Insights. So yeah, our mission here is really just to walk you through the steps, step by step. Perfect. Let's do it. So I've got Python, Obsidian's installed. I've downloaded my ChatGPT export. What's the very first step with Chat Insights itself? First, you need to get the application. It's available on GitHub. GitHub, right. The place developers share code. Yep. So you download the files from there. They'll probably come down as a zip file, so you'll need to extract them first. You know, unzip the folder. Okay, extract it. Now what? Find the file inside called chatinsights-app.py. That's the main application file. Just double click it to run it. Double click the Python file. Got it. And uh, probably a good idea to maximize the window once it opens, just so you can see everything clearly. Makes sense. Okay, application's open, maximize, now we need to point it to my data. Exactly. You should see a tab right at the top, probably labeled import and process. That's where you start. Okay, import and process. The very first field you'll see asks for the chat GPT JSON export file. And right next to it, there's a browse button. Right. Click that browse button. It'll open up a file explorer window. And you just navigate to where you saved that conversations.json file you downloaded earlier. Select it, click open. Done. Pointed to the JSON file. What's next on this tab? Next is the output directory. This is where Chat Insights will save all the processed files, the stuff that becomes your Obsidian vault. Again, there's a browse button. Okay. Does it matter where I save it? Not really. By default, it suggests creating a new folder called Chat Insights right in your main user folder, which is usually fine. But if you like to keep things organized differently, just hit browse and pick any folder you want. Makes sense. I see some other fields too. Your name, assistant name, system name. Yeah, those are just for customizing how the chat logs look, like who said what. The default assistant name is Atlas. For now, you can probably just leave those as they are. It's easy to change later if you decide you want to. Okay, leave the names as default for now. So, file selected, output folder chosen. Ready to process. Almost. Now you choose how to process. You'll see two big buttons. One says something like process chat GPT export, mm -hmm. and the other says process and analyze concepts. The first one just gives you like raw text versions of your chats. Okay, but we want the knowledge graph. Exactly. So you want to click the second button, process and analyze concepts. That's the one that does the magic, finds the topics, and builds the Obsidian Vault structure. All right, clicking process and analyze concepts. Okay, and now it's going to start working. It'll read through your conversations.json file, figure out the concepts based on chat titles, organize things by date, and set up all the files and folders for Obsidian. How long does this usually take? It depends. If you have hundreds or thousands of conversations, it might take a few minutes. If you only have a few dozen, it could be pretty quick. Just let it run until it tells you it's finished. Okay, makes sense. Letting it cook. While it's doing that, you, you mentioned it analyzes concepts. How does it know what concepts to look for? Can I control that? Ah, good question. Yes, you can. See the tab next to Import and Process. It should say Concept Tracker. Yep, see it. Click on that. 
while the processing is happening, you can take a look here. This is where you define the concepts Chat Insights searches for in your chat titles. Okay. Looks like a text box with a bunch of lines. What's the format here? Yeah, it's pretty simple. Each line is a concept. It starts with the concept name you want to use, like AI, then a colon. Right. Then, after the colon, you list keywords related to that concept, separated by the pipe symbol, that vertical line. Okay, so like the example here, AI. BAI, artificial intelligence, GPT, Claude, LM. What's the B? Ah, the B just means word boundary. It ensures it matches AI as a whole word, not just the letters A inside another word. Like, again, it makes the matching more precise. Gotcha. So I can add my own lines here if I talk about, I don't know, Project Chimera a lot. Absolutely. Just add a new line like, Project Chimera, Project Chimera, Chimera, and it'll pick that up. The matching is case insensitive too, so AI or A doesn't matter. Cool. So I can customize this list based on my own interests. What are some of the defaults? You'll see things like AI, Python, maybe frameworks, mental health, neurodiversity, just some common starting points. You can tweak this list anytime, add your own, remove ones you don't care about. Nice. That's really flexible. And then, how do I see the result in Obsidian? Head back to the Import and Process tab. Now that processing is done, you should see a new button enabled, probably labeled Open Obsidian Vault. Ah, okay. Click that. Yep. Click Open Obsidian Vault. That will just open the folder on your computer where Chat Insights put all the files. Okay, so it opens the folder, doesn't open Obsidian itself. Correct. It just shows you the folder. Now you need to open the Obsidian application separately. All right, launching Obsidian. Once Obsidian is open, look for an option like Open Folder as Vault or maybe Open Another Vault. Click that. Okay. Then you just navigate to that folder that Chat Insights opened for you a second ago. Select that main folder and click Open or Select Folder or whatever the button says in Obsidian. Oh, and voila, you should now be looking at your brand new Obsidian Vault built entirely from your chat GPT conversations. Awesome. What am I looking at here? What are the key pieces? You'll see a few important things right away. There's probably a file named concepts-moc.md. MOC. Map of content. It's like a central index. It links out to all the individual concept notes that Chat Insights found and created. Okay, like a table of contents for my topics. What else? You'll see individual notes for each concept, like AI.md, Python.md, whatever concepts that identified from your list and your chat titles. Click into one of those. Okay, clicking AI.md. Inside, you'll see when you discussed AI, links to the specific conversations where it came up, and maybe even links to other related concepts that were discussed around the same time. Ah, uh, I see. It shows the connections. Exactly. That's the knowledge graph part. There's also likely a concept dashboard.md. This one uses a plugin. Data view, you mentioned that. Right. The data view plugin for Obsidian. If you have that installed, this dashboard gives you cool summaries and lists based on your concepts. And finally, there's a folder, probably just called Conversations. And that's it. That's all your original chats, but now they're nicely formatted as individual markdown files inside Obsidian, linked from the concept notes. Wow, okay, so the concept notes link to the chat notes and maybe to other concept notes. It's all interconnected? Precisely. You can navigate from a topic to the specific chats, see how your thinking evolved, jump to related ideas. It's pretty powerful for revisiting things. That is cool. Um, is that everything in Chat Insights? I thought it was on another tab. Oh, right. There's also a training data tab. We don't need to dive deep into that now, but basically it has a feature to extract instruction response pairs from your chats. Like for training AI models. Yeah, exactly. If you were ever interested in fine tuning a model on your specific style or topics, that could potentially generate some useful data. But for just building the knowledge graph, you don't really need it. Got it. Good to know it's there though. Anything else to enhance this? The Chat Insights documentation also mentions another plugin, AI Tagger Universe, potentially using local AI models like Gemma through Olama. That sounds like a more advanced way to automatically tag and connect notes even further beyond just the chat titles. Hmm. Maybe something to explore down the line. Could be, but just getting the basic vault set up with Chat Insights and maybe Data View is already a huge step. Definitely. So just to recap, we use Chat Insights to point to our ChatGPT export told it where to save the output, hit process and analyze concepts, maybe tweak the concept tracker, then open the resulting folder as a new vault in Obsidian. You got it. That's the core workflow. And now I have this 
browsable linked archive of my AI conversations. Yeah. And the beauty is, it's not static, as you have more conversations with ChatGPT in the future. Ah, uh, just export again? Exactly. Get a new export, run chat insights again, pointing it to the same output directory. It should update the vault with your new conversations and concepts. So it keeps the knowledge graph growing over time. That's the idea. It mm -hmm. becomes a living record of your interactions and the ideas you're exploring. That's genuinely useful. Huh? Okay, so wrapping up this deep dive, right. we've walked through turning those sometimes rambling chat GPT chats into something structured in Obsidian. A personal knowledge graph ready to explore. So the final thought for you, the listener, now that you have this potential tool, think about what patterns might be hiding in your own AI dialogues. What connections between seemingly unrelated topics might surface when you see them mapped out like this? Yeah, how could seeing the evolution of your questions and the AI's responses actually enhance your learning or spark new ideas? It's definitely worth exploring. Dig into your own graph, see what unexpected links pop up. It's a different way to reflect on your own thinking process, mediated by AI.